morning guys we are coming down here to the end of this little boat road here by this boat ramp pick up a Toyota Tacoma customer said it's it's unattended it's supposed to be pretty crashed up is his words um, and that it probably was gonna have to be put on a flatbed and drug up in gear because I guess he didn't leave the keys with it. I'm guessing that's it considering it's a Tacoma it's that's the whole front end ripped out of it. Good God. Let's pull up to it here and see what we got. Windows are down, the doors are unlocked. I don't know what they hit, but they hit it pretty hard. Wheels are turned slightly. It's pretty crazy. It's no longer latched. Hmm. It's interesting. The mirrors are folded forward. And it makes you wonder how they got it here. I'm surprised none of these fishermen or anything down here called in the police. It's unattended, I'm just going to document. Doors are unlocked. Documenting what's in it. Alright. These should have a shift lock, it does. So I can maybe get it into, into gear. So let's back up to it here real quick. shift lock release it's kind of a funny story the last one of the last times I was down here at this particular boat ramp I'll uh, try to put a picture of it up here but I had to pull the truck out of the intercoastal canal here it was, uh, I think it was like a February or something a few years back. There was a truck that just went straight off the end of the road here and ended up in the intercoastal canal and it was like way, way out there. So I'll, I'll put a picture up here for y'all to see what it was, what it was like. And we, uh, had a fun night that night because it was a evening where a, a uh, cold front had just came through so it was like 40 something degrees I'm out there swimming hypothermia is not really something you have to deal with in Texas too much that was one of the first times I can say I honestly had hypothermia I had to had to go and work for a little bit and then jump in the truck and blast the heater all right so since we 
have access to the interior. I'm wondering if this one didn't go in the water based on how much wetness there is in this thing. Because it hasn't really rained recently. How wet is this seat? Pretty wet. I'm assuming this thing probably went in the water. There's water in the cup holders. So I'm going to pop the shift lock release. Let's see if that is neutral. So in theory, I'm not talking to you. So in theory, this thing will now roll instead of us having to drag it. Which will help. He uh, said he wanted a flatbed. Turns out it didn't really Look like it needs a flatbed. Unless this thing four wheel drive. There it is. Technically the manufacturer recommendations are to use a flatbed for four wheel drive Toyotas is kinda like how the Jeeps are. The water pouring out of this thing. It's gonna take a while, I guess to say. Not too long ago, this thing was out there in the water. I'm going to set parking brake. Okay, we're back in park. Yes, and they fished this thing out, parked it here. shift lock release and drug it around I really don't want to strap these muddy tires so I might use my mini J's on this one I grab my mini J straps Dirtying up all my good wheel straps. Not going too too far down the road with this thing. Still want to make sure we got it secured down good, especially not knowing how bad this thing is damaged. Good places to hook to this thing.
sometimes on stuff like this, Jeeps, and stuff with like big tires, like when I haul my personal Jeep, I'll use the Mini J straps and kind of X them across. Using the little frame slots. That way it's being secured for rolling forward and back. And I don't have to hook the wheels and tires if they're all dirty or they're really big and like my Jeep. I got 43 inch tires on it, so it takes some pretty big wheel straps to go around those. So. I got called to pick it up and he said it was at the end of 2918 and it was pretty crashed up and this is what I found. It's oh, completely man. full of water so I'm assuming it was out in there the at, out there at some point in time. God bless. Yeah. He, I don't know what he hit but they hit it pretty good. That's why I was I was wondering the same thing. I was wondering if it cuz it looks like they came up right here with it now that I'm looking at it cuz you can see there's drag marks. There's. Yeah. So I noticed one of the tires, you can see where it was, I guess, in park. They didn't know how to get it out of, out of gear. And uh, you can see where it had grass and the drag marks on the tires. So that makes sense. They brought it up out of here. It's not. Call you up and tell you to go get it. Yeah, they were like, hey, it's parked at the end of, end of 2019 at the boat ramp. I've actually pulled them out of the water here before. It's been a couple years ago, but it was like, I think it was a Silverado or something. It was like way out there. We got a police rope station on it one time. You too, sir. You have a good one. Looking at it, you can see it went straight off the end of the road there. Which I guess makes sense. Not sure exactly what they hit. Unless it was one of them big old rocks or something. Anyways, we are going to haul this thing to the drop off for the customer. Alright, so we just got done with that Tacoma and we got a Freeport rotation for an abandoned Ford Focus. I said it looks like it went off the levee. They said it was on Highway 36, which is that bridge, on Levy Road, which is the road where that truck's coming, coming down in front of us there. So I'm assuming it's right up here somewhere. Unless it's on the other side of the river. In case we'll have to go down and around, but oh, I see a cop right there. Oh, it's right there. That's not too bad. Oh. I can get to it from right here. I don't know what the ground looks like out there, but we're gonna walk out there and check it out. I don't know if I can back across here or not. There's some rock and concrete out here. It doesn't get soft or anything out here. I think I ought to be able to back out here. As long as there ain't no soft spots. This looks fine. Yeah. So they just ran off the side of the levee and decided to leave their car or what? 
for <laughs> too many Coronas. There's a whole like whole three case? cases in the back. So they was feeling good when they did it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll be getting a call later on. My car got stolen. Info. I'm gonna probably just back in right there and yeah. scoop it up. So appreciate it. I don't Keys are in. Yeah, I know. With the, with generally, Fords when they trigger their bags, that there's a nurse's switch kills it. So, yep. Appreciate it. Since I'm right here, I'm gonna snap my pictures of it. Keys are in it. He says. See, they went straight off the end of the levee there. All the airbags pop, so I'm assuming you can see where there's no tire tracks there for a considerable ways. I'm assuming they had uh, caught some air. other than maybe a couple bits of plastic over there we'll go look at that in a minute sure we get all of the debris picked up I don't know how well y'all can see it but there's probably a good little know, 10 foot or so of no tire marks where uh, you can tell they caught some air coming off of that Appears to be the computer stuck under the tire. That's great. Just explains why the car probably won't start. Hopefully, I'll try to get this wheel straight as long as there's no blood and stuff in here. A hook in here with this tall grass. Get the, the debris under this thing out of the way. Tire is making it pretty hard to get around to the control arm. all kinds of stuff back behind the tire. Fish this thing in here. Grab the controller. 
starting from the top. This one. Tires got air. Bumpers not all pulled back, so hopefully I can. Levy Road there. There's a bunch of fishing spots. That's the computer for the car. I'm guessing they was probably fishing, having a good old time and missed their turn. Up the uh, 
Tacoma. They were calling in saying that my car had just drove off the levee. We'll throw a couple more straps on the other side here and we will haul this thing to the yard. bed down we get this thing unloaded so you don't want to fight us too hard with that one uh, wheel being flat one tire so push my truck forward a little bit here backed up a little bit too far Get this thing into gear since we have the keys. Let's straighten up the steering wheel a little bit too. We got all of the all of the uh, airbags popped in this thing. We must have had a pretty hard hit. inventory and paperwork and everything on this thing. Finished getting this thing unhooked here. Be ready for whatever Sunday brings us next. 